at the front of the motor? Right there. I believe it's a 10 mil. It should should just pop right out. But we will see. 10 mil. Yep. 10 mil right there. It should just come right off there. Yeah. Nice. That's hopeful. Okay, so I'm just gonna see if I can just don't wanna break it. Might need to set the phone down to get this out. Alright, well it popped out and then fell down, but what I did I just wedged this right on that ledge right there and then I smacked the back with my other hand. And just popped out. You hear that? Okay, so I pulled the other one out of the box and listen to this one. That's a lot better than this one. So, definitely replacing it. Whoa. Definitely putting that one in there. Make sure you lube up the O-rings with some oil and then go ahead and slide it in there and bolt it back up. So with these PCV valves, make sure that it does that because um, it'll get stuck open or shut. I actually bought one online for about half the cost of this one. Um, it's like 20 or 25 bucks, but I opened it and then shook it and it didn't make any noise. So before you take your old one out, make sure that it does that. Here's a little technique. If you don't have any used oil laying around, get your dipstick. Just get a little bit on your finger. Now you might have to do it two or three times, but it's not new oil brand new oil but I did an oil change just a little bit ago uh, probably 500 miles ago so it's still relatively new and I don't have any actually used oil so just dip it in there a few times make sure you coat the o-ring right you should be good to go And then make sure, take this, and you hand tighten it first. The last thing you want to do is cross thread these. I mean, the last thing you want to do with any bolt is cross thread it, right? Hand tighten it. I think this job has taken me five minutes. That's good. As long as it comes out, it should be a very easy job. And just snug it up, good to go.